Hi there, welcome back to my nursery today. We're gonna to be talking about the tropical sundew Drosera spatulata, where it grows, how to grow it, and how to make more of it. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope you like the information. Drosera spatulata belongs to the order Caryophyllales, family Droseraceae, genus Drosera, subgenus Drosera, subsection Drosera. I know, incredibly original. It is native to Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. It's tropical and incredibly widespread throughout all of these areas, found in bogs all throughout all of these areas. Uh, to grow this plant, you need a soil with one-to-one -one peat per light ratio. Uh, lighting, it likes full or partial sun. I've grown it under both. It's water preference, it wants to be always wet, tray watered. Uh, temperature, always keep it above 55 degrees. It's a tropical, so it cannot handle cold weather or freezes. It is great for windowsills, outdoors, or indoors. If you have a windowsill that does not experience a freeze, or if it does, pull it away a little bit. And it's an incredibly weedy species. I, as soon as I bought one, I have never bought another one, and they just keep reproducing like crazy. Now, here's how you go about propagating them. So you pick it up, Get some scissors and just snip off the pads just like you see right there. Nice and easy, not really difficult. Put in some water, float them on, and we cap off the, uh, the container there. Looking good, cool. And then I usually mark mine with a Sharpie. All right, and then as you can see, you can, you'll end up with a tray of these in no time. The babies, they'll produce within about a month maybe two months or so they uh, become very prolific keep them under a lot of humidity then transplant them into a tray like this and then as you can see from this tray i have here i have quite a few mother plants that are flowering they readily produce seeds like crazy and are self-pollinatable so they'll make their own seed you don't even have to touch the flower at all and you'll just have constant uh, drosphorus spatulatas coming out at you so very weedy and you'll have tons of them in no time. I highly recommend getting this so you can have tons to give out to your friends. All right, so to recap, Drosser spatulata is a Asian and Australian sundew that appreciates tropical weather, has no dormancy and cannot handle freezing weather, but produces a lot of seeds and is very easy to propagate from cuttings. I highly recommend these for anybody who's just beginning in the hobby and I hope that uh, this encourages you to go try and get one of these and start growing sundews yourself. If you found this helpful and informative, please like and subscribe, share it with any friends who might need any help growing sundews. And I hope you're having a great day and I hope that plants are growing great too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.